Anaconda vs. Komodo Dragon. Who would end up victorious in a fight? It is unlikely in real life that Anaconda and the Komodo Dragon will ever meet. Anacondas are stronger than Komodo Dragons in terms of their structures and appearance, while Komodo Dragons are also powerful, of claws and serrated shark-like teeth that can rip through any flesh. Also, it's venomous. The name Anaconda actually refers to the Yenectes genus, but it is most often used to refer to one species, the green or common anaconda. A member of the boa family, Boadai, South America's green anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world, having the greatest girth in proportion to its length of any snake. Komodo dragons are the largest living lizards in the world. They are identified by their massive size, flat heads, bowed legs, and long, thick tails. The name comes from rumors that a dragon-like creature lived on the Indonesian island of Komodo. No Western scientists had seen a Komodo dragon until 1912. Local people call them Aura or Land Crocodile. Description Anaconda, or green anaconda, belongs to the boa family and is one of the biggest existing snakes. Anaconda's females are much bigger in size than males and have clearly marked sexual dimorphism. With an average length of 20 feet, 6 meters, and a top length of 29 feet, 8.8 meters, the green anaconda is one of the longest snakes in the world. The green anaconda, with a girth of nearly 12 inches, 30 centimeters, and a weight of 550 pounds, 227 kilograms, is the heaviest of all snakes. Anacondas are mainly olive green, with black spots all around their bodies. Anaconda's head has clearly expressed orange-yellow stripes on both sides, and is narrow for its body size. The eyes, located on the top of the head, help anacondas observe the surroundings without coming out of water. Komodo dragons grow to an average length of 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters, and weigh around 154 pounds, 70 kilograms. Captive Komodo dragons may often weigh more, as much as 365 pounds, 166 kilograms. Komodo dragons are the heaviest lizards on Earth. These large lizards range in color from black to yellow-gray, depending on their location, and have a rough, durable skin reinforced with osteoderms, bony plates, protecting them from injuries from scratches and bites. They have long, flat heads with rounded snouts, scaly skin, bowed legs, and huge, muscular tails. They have about 60 frequently replaced serrated teeth that can measure up to 1 inch 2.5 centimeters in length. Their saliva is frequently tinged with blood because their teeth are almost completely covered by gingival tissue that is naturally lacerated during feeding. They also have long, yellow, deeply forked tongues. They are able to see as far as 985 feet, 300 meters. However, they have poor night vision. Habitat and Distribution The anaconda lives over a vast area of tropical river systems and swamps in South America, east of the Andes. The anacondas are most frequently found in basins of Amazon River, Brazil, Orinoco River, Colombia, and Los Llanos, Venezuela, vast tropical grassland plain. This hot, humid region with its dense foliage offers excellent habitat for such a large snake, which fits well into this world. The anaconda likes to be in or near water and spends a large part of its time in the murky waters that help to hide, as well as support, its tremendous body. 
These predatory lizards inhabit just five islands, four of which are within Komodo National Park in Indonesia. They can be found on Komodo, Gili de Sami, Gili Montang, Rinka, and Flores Island. Komodo dragons have the smallest natural range of all the large predators. Komodo dragons inhabit volcanic islands with rugged, hilly terrain. The islands they live on have a range of different ecosystems, from grasslands and savannas to dense forests. In their native range, these interesting animals remain at lower elevations, avoiding the higher, mountainous cloud forests on the Indonesian islands they inhabit. Food Habits for anacondas, anything that wanders close enough to this predator's mouth is in danger of being eaten, including very large creatures. Instead of using venom to subdue their prey, they have backwards-facing fangs and utilize constriction to slowly suffocate their prey. Large prey like tapirs, caimans, deer, jaguars, and capybaras are eaten, but not frequently. Smaller mammals, reptiles, fish, and birds are more commonly consumed. Komodo dragons are carnivores, meaning they eat meat. They are such fierce hunters, they can eat very large prey, such as large water buffalo, deer, carrion, pigs, and even humans. They will also eat smaller dragons. They can eat 80% of their body weight in one feeding. The Komodo has a unique way of killing its prey. First, it springs up and knocks the prey over with its huge feet. Then they use their sharp, serrated teeth, which are a lot like a shark's, to shred their prey to death. If the prey escapes, it will die within 24 hours of blood poisoning because the Komodo saliva contains 50 strains of bacteria. With its fantastic sense of smell, the Komodo will find the dead animal and finish its meal. Behavior and Lifestyle Anacondas are nocturnal meanwhile, leading solitary lifestyles. The period of increased activity for anacondas is nighttime. Being water-dwelling reptiles, anacondas are fast in water while slow on land. Most of their lives they spend in water, staying underwater for long periods of time. Anacondas are comparably passive at daytime heat and start moving at dusk when the heat subsides. They often pass long distances very quickly, usually when the dry season reaches its highest point or when they look for mates. Komodo dragons are most active in the day, although they exhibit some nocturnal activity. They are solitary and come together only to breed and eat. These lizards are capable of running rapidly in brief sprints up to 12 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour, diving up to 15 feet, 4.5 meters, and climbing trees proficiently when young through use of their strong claws. For shelter, Komodo dragons dig holes with their powerful forelimbs and claws. These holes can measure from 3.3 to 9.8 feet, 1 to 3 meters wide. Because of their large size and habit of sleeping in these burrows, these lizards are able to conserve body heat throughout the night and minimize their basking period the morning after. Who would win in a head-to-head -head fight between a Komodo dragon and a full-grown anaconda? Both anacondas and Komodo dragons are capable of killing each other. Anacondas are stronger than Komodo dragons in terms of their structures and appearance, while Komodo dragons are also powerful as their mouth is harmful and poisonous rather than anacondas. Anacondas eat caimans without getting bit. The giant snake, after thousands if not millions of years of practice, knows how to kill crocodiles while avoiding those powerful jaws. The same method should work on a big lizard. 
Anacondas can slay the dragon by squeezing it until it stifles and kills it. The squeezing of the Komodo dragon may cause internal bleeding. The whole Komodo dragon would then be eaten at once by the anaconda. Komodo loses the battle with the anaconda, therefore. Of course, the Komodo dragon may attack first, using its sharp claws and its venomous bite. I don't think he could kill the anaconda so fast. The only thing that could be in favor of the dragon is its saliva, but it takes effect after a few hours. Got to go with the anaconda on this one. It would be far too large and powerful for the dragon. So, in my opinion, there are only two options. In the first version, the anaconda succeeds to kill the dragon without being bitten and would win detached. In the second variant, the dragon bites the anaconda, but we don't know how the venom would affect the immune system of the snake. The snake may die after 24 hours, but it will still be too late for the dragon. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.